If you're looking for cheap, reliable coins for players like you see on the screen, visit my friends at fifacoinstoday.com. Make sure to use Nick at checkout for 10%, yes, 10% off of all of your Xbox or PSN coin orders. Hey buddies, welcome back to another episode of the Team of the Year Ebra Project. Uh, last episode was a bit up and down, as it is with Ultimate Team, really all the time. So we had a nice little win and then we lost... Uh, in a ragey and uh, depressing fashion, but that's the way it goes. So congratulations to the winner of the 10,000 coins from last episode. Now without further ado, let's go right back into the tournament, see if we can get one or two victories. The team still needs improvement in my opinion. Alright, what is Bronze City? Oh, well, bad chemistry, so that's good. Although, last episode I got fisted by a team with bad chemistry, but I feel like we have a chance against this team, so fingers crossed. He's got center defensive mids at left and right mid, so should be able to take advantage. Lacazette, my man, there we go. Oh, that's a cool replay angle. Oh, tidy finish. Alright, let's go on ultra attacking. Go for the jugular. Great bit of play. I'm going to take this all the way. Gradle. Gradle! Yeah! I have full confidence in Maxi Gradle. He's just caught an incredible shot, great pace. I mean, his shooting far exceeds what it shows on his card stats. Come on, come on, come on. Beat him, beat him. Are we going to sweat this to Zlatan? Are we going to sweat this to Zlatan? Is Zlatan... Yeah, we gotta. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The, the sweaty goal broke him. Clearly it broke him. It must have. There we go. Crappy of me to do? Eh, maybe. I mean, it's his fault that he gave me uh, the sweaty pass, really, at the end of the day. I'll never fault sweaty goals, and it's not just because I scored one and that caused my opponent to rage quit. I fault the goals that you get from lobs and breaking the game, but really, passing it across the goal for an easy tap-in is not really cheap. Teams do it in real life all the time. Now, I was going to be looking at left backs, right backs, center defensive mids, but I just quickly had a peek at what center defensive mids I could go with, and honestly, Gonalons, or Gonalon, if you want to call him by his French pronunciation, last year had some incredible cards, was so overpowered. He doesn't have an inform this year, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to give him a shot. I loved his uh, team of the season last year. Did he have one in Ultimate Team 13 as well? I'm trying to remember. Anyways, he has had some overpowered cards over the past few years, so hey, why don't we give him a shot? All right, what has he got? Oh. <sighs> the usual Bundesliga pace. Great bit of play. Hit it! <laughs> Great bit of play. Good little through ball there. Powerful from Lucas, I believe. Get rid of it, boys. Just get rid of it. It's up the... F yeah. Come on. Come on. Here we go. That's not a foul. Are you kidding me? No way. What kind of a call was that? Oh, Jug, thank you. Get you there! Yo! Oh! <laughs> nice bit of play. Look at the effort from both Max Gradle and Lacazette to get on the end of that. Hit it, James! Again! Again, Gradle! Again! Oh, why? He was in front of the net. I... S Hit it, Zlatan! Oh! That is insane, Jug. No worries. Well done. Gonalon's been a nice little addition to the club. Is that going to work? Is that going to work? Get off of me! How is it? There's no foul there! Look at this! You just tackle him? Oh, 45th minute. That's why. That's why. Jug, thank you. Well done. Come on. He's just... All he does is run it into the corner. Oh, thank God my team is dealing with it well, though. Nice. Nice. Where's Latan? Oh my god! Wow! This is just mayhem. I don't even know what happened there. I couldn't even tell you what happened there. Hit it! Yes! Alright, there we go. The simple goals I can't put in the net, but then the, just the insane things... I, I mean, he put that past what? How many players is that? Four? Through five guys, almost? Oh, Adler, did you really have to ruin that? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. Mash and circle trying to dispossess me of the ball while I'm in the box. All right, Zlatan, let's trip him out here. Fake it, fake it, and go left. Yeah, you can move around all you want in the net, buddy. Zlatan will still pump it in. Zuma! Oh, Zuma! Woo! So as for upgrades, I'm really thinking uh, Cease or Miguel Lopez, one of the two are going to have to get moved out of the team. Uh, they've both been lackluster, so it's actually tough. I don't know who to take out first. Let's go check the market, see what we can actually upgrade to. Now as for upgrades, uh, we're spoiled for choice at right back, which uh, you know I don't even know who to go with because Fanny and Mariano are fantastic. I have a friend who swears by Aurier, so there's a few there. And then at left back, we can't jump to a non-shiny gold because believe it or not, there's an inform silver so that would be our upgrade now to be honest I feel Miguel Lopez has been a bit worse than Cease so I'm gonna switch the right back and I was going to go with Fanny to be honest with you but I haven't given a lot of chance to Mariano and I hear from so many people that he's one of the best Brazilian right backs so let's give him a go all right well that's the end of the episode boys I hope you enjoyed it there's Mariano in the team if you did enjoy the stomping that we gave our two past opponents give me a like on the video I'd appreciate it and as usual we'll catch you beauties on the flip side